Hi everyone and welcome to the Boulder app onboarding tutorial. In this video, we will cover three topics. How to create your account, how to create a home, and how to add a device. So, let's get right into it. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the Boulder app. You can scan this QR code that comes with every single Boulder product, or you can type Boulder Energy straight into the search bar in the App Store if you have an iPhone, or Google Play Store if you have an Android. Once the app is fully downloaded, you can go ahead and launch it. So, let's get started by inputting the email, followed by your first name and last name. Finally, let's input a secure password and then reconfirm it. Now we're prompted to choose between Celsius and Fahrenheit. As I'm currently sitting in Europe, I'll go ahead and choose Celsius. After this, you'll be prompted to authenticate your email with a code. So please go ahead and follow over to your email and copy over the security code. And I'm happy to confirm that this is the final step in creating your account. So once that's done, we can move on to creating a home. The first thing we're going to want to do is choose the property type. I'm setting up in my house, so I'll go ahead and choose home, but you can choose from a whole range of property types, such as vacation homes, rental homes, office, store, gym, and many others. Now for the best in-app experience, please be accurate with the type of property that you have. Let's go ahead and choose a nickname for the property, which will bring us to the address. It's really important to be accurate with the address because some super useful and energy saving features will depend on this address being entered correctly. You can either drag and drop the pin or enter the address manually in the search bar. The address for me is accurate, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm it, which will officially complete my home setup and bring us to device onboarding. So if you want to set up a device, go ahead and press set up device, which will bring up a selection of Boulder devices. And today I'm setting up a Kelvin. At this stage, the Boulder app wants to know which room we want to place the Kelvin heater in. I don't have any room set up, so let's go ahead and create a room. Let's place the heater in my private office, name it the lab and proceed. We can now add the Kelvin heater by clicking add device to this room and then let's get started. First, let's plug in the heater. If you have multiple Boulder devices, it's super important to connect only one device at a time. The ease of connectivity may be affected if you have multiple devices trying to pair at the same time. So, once we confirm that only one device is pairing, the app will start looking for the Kelvin. Please be patient. It may take the app up to 30 seconds to find your device. In this instance, the app found the heater straight away and we can press join to move forward. But don't be alarmed if you have to press retry once or even twice whilst the app tries to locate your heater. If for some reason, after the two tries, the app is still unable to find the heater, please reset the heater and you can find the reset instructions in the help center in our website. Once we press join, the app will connect the Boulder device to your local Wi-Fi network. Please press allow to proceed to the next step. Here you simply choose your Wi-Fi network from the list of all the available Wi-Fi networks nearby. Once you choose your network, go ahead and input the password. This is a very important step. Often Wi-Fi passwords are very complex and this is where users often make simple user errors. So please be very careful and ideally copy paste the password into the field for accuracy. Once that's done, we're ready to press connect. Congratulations, your Kelvin heater is now connected. We're nearly there now. The next step is to add your sensor. The sensor is the device that accurately measures the temperature and the humidity in your room and reports it directly in the app. First, you'll need to open up the sensor by twisting the top part of the casing anti-clockwise. 
Once open, insert the included battery and you should see the red LED start blinking slowly. Remember, if you have more than one sensor, please make sure you're only connecting one device at a time. So once the battery is inserted, you can now locate the black button, which is the only button inside the sensor. If the red light is blinking, you can go ahead and continue to the next step. Please be patient as the app looks to locate the sensor. This may take up to 30 seconds and don't be alarmed if the app doesn't find the sensor on the first or even second try. Simply press retry and if after the second attempt you're still unable to connect the please follow reset instructions for the sensor. You can find those on our website shopboulder.com in the help center. Now once the app locates the sensor, please press join. Congratulations, your sensor is fully connected. You can now close the sensor by reattaching the casing. You are now ready to place the sensor somewhere in the room. Make sure to place the sensor somewhere open with airflow, perhaps a tabletop, bookshelf or counter. Voila, your device is successfully connected to the app. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope the onboarding went smoothly. Please enjoy your new and pleasant boulder heating experience.